Hello there, one and all, and welcome to episode 397 of Love at First Scent with me, Persilays, live on YouTube as always. Thank you very much for tuning in, whether you're watching live or you're watching the recording. And thank you to Ty, who has got the first comment and says, Cafe Rose, how could I forget? And then answers the question by saying, actually, this new rendition is quite forgettable, so I've answered my own question there. And Rich agrees and says, it's not great. So thank you very much for tuning everybody. Stay tuned to social media for details of new videos. <laughs> I haven't even smelt it yet. Um, so let's see what, what this turns out to be like. I should say, if you uh, if, please do consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already done so. And if you do subscribe, also consider clicking on the little bell so that you get notifications of new videos. And if you would like to find out how you can support my work, you should be able to see a link to my coffee page in the video description below. Um, Angela says, hi there, Persilase and everyone. Just caught the end of the last one, first live in ages. I did think, actually, this is your first time live. Clearly, we've, we've kind of latched on to your schedule well uh, you're very welcome anyway Angela interested to see what they have done to it this time uh, we are sentient says cafe rose more like cafe sit down <laughs> uh, Sarah says good evening from Lund in Sweden um, headless sense says I have the original formulation I bought back in 2015 curious to compare with the new formulation okay well so am I because I don't remember the original very well what are we talking about we are talking about this new 2023 release of Tom Ford Cafe Rose in this, what is it, sort of dusky, pinky, purpley, metallic bottle. I'm going to spray it. I haven't smelt it before at all. I tried to hold my breath when I was doing a pre-spray blotter, a blotter that was sprayed about an hour and a half ago. Um, other than that, I, I haven't smelt it at all. But this one absolutely needs a little bit of context because Cafe Rose originally came out in 2012. And it was part of uh, what I think the brand at the time called a, uh, a garden quartet. And I knew I'd smelt them. And actually, before this video, I went back through my own blog and thought, oh, yes, sure enough, there's, there's the review from 2012 of, of all four of them. And I've got the little screen grab of what I wrote about Cafe Rose at the time. Um, Cafe Rose was apparently one of the two that I thought that was the you know the sort of better half of the of of, of the quartet. Um, I think now, if the internet is to be believed, we now credit uh, the original Cafe Rose to Antoine Lee. Um, some sources are also crediting this one to Antoine Lee, but with, with 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 Tom Ford, you never really know. Again, it's another one of the brands that rather strangely doesn't make the names of the perfumers um, public. It, it, it's it's kind of odd now, you know, in 2023 that brands feel they don't have to do that. So I don't even know whether whether the brand are officially saying that this is a different formulation or whether they're simply saying that they brought back a scent that was discontinued and they're sort of putting it into the into the Tom Ford mainstream range. I mean, cl clearly from what a lot of you are saying, it isn't the same. So let's have a smell. Um, I'm just smelling this and seeing the comment from Scent Bubble, who says, a perfectly nice perfume for folk who don't know perfume. Um, And, and yes, the thought that is coming into my mind at the moment is is a kind of shrug. I'm just sort of going, oh, it's okay. But I, I, I did have, and I wanted to see from my own writing of 11 years ago, whether my memory was correct. I did remember thinking that Cafe Rose was at least very, very distinctly coffee and very, very distinctly rose. Um, that it sort of, did what it said on the tin. Um, but this is, this is really quite thin to start with. I mean, it's, it's just the kind of definition of palely, florally, rosy, pleasant. And it's really not this colour. I'm, I'm not doing any more videos tonight, so I can I can spare some skin because coffee notes, again, a lot of you will know, coffee notes quite often vanish on paper and only, coffee's a little bit like human in that way, and only come out on skin. So let's go, let's go straight on skin and 
the, one of the best examples of that is Mugler's um, hot cologne. I mean, there's, there's barely any paper to be smelt, sorry, coffee to be smelt on paper, and then you spray it on skin and suddenly the coffee comes out. So let's see if... Can we say it's decaf? Um, it's, it's very, very kind of, it's shy. It, it's really bashful, which is not what you expect from a Tom Ford. Um, Angela says, you definitely couldn't call the original thin. It was rich as I remember it and very much a coffee roast scent. Yes, okay, so this is what I wrote. It's just a short paragraph. This is what I wrote um, back in 2012. And as I reread this to myself, I just thought, oh my goodness, you sound so much like you. I mean, talk about talk about having a style and not being aware of a style. Um, it, it says, Cafe Rose deserves praise for making a spirited attempt to add something novel to the woefully hackneyed, rosy, woody oud accord. As the fragrance's name suggests, the originality comes in the form of a coffee facet, but its effect is inconsistent. There are times when it unquestionably lifts the scent above the miserable swamp of so-called oud creations. I haven't changed, have I? But there are also others when it vanishes and causes the compositions to descend into to cut the composition to descend into cliches. Um, it's definitely worth checking out but I can't say it gets a wholehearted endorsement from me. Okay, so I wasn't crazy about it then either, was I? But um, this is, I just get the feeling this is gonna be, oh, I wonder if I got like, I wonder if I got like a whiff of a, I wonder if I got a, a whiff of barista from like three blocks down because the wind happened to be blowing in the right direction just for a moment. Um, You're really, really having to hunt for this coffee. Um, Scent Bubble says, I got quite a pleasant but very light rose and barely there suede note. The original would flatten a five mile radius. Gosh, neither full bottle worthy for me. Um, Gavin says, people like coffee and they like roses. Hence this scent. Yeah, <laughs> do you work for the Tom Ford marketing department? Um, and they ask niche prices for this, says Pradeep. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit surprised. What does the brand say? The brand says, essences of rose and dark coffee reveal sensual depth, while ylang ylang exudes an opulent floral sea. Coriander, patchouli, and cardamom infuse a spicy warmth to incense, resin, and sandalwood accords. Um, yeah, this is, this is, um, this is this is the kind of uber decaf, I think. Let's see the let's see the the pre-sprayed one. Okay. Okay, the base is a quiet patchouli. This is this is like a coffee. Okay, so talking about, let, let, let's sort of mix metaphors for a while. You know how if you take a photocopy, a good quality photocopy of a picture, the first copy that you get may not be half bad, but you know, you can tell that it's a copy. And if you take a photocopy of that photocopy, the, the, the quality um, deteriorates. And if you kind of keep going, making photocopies of the photocopies, eventually you get to something that is really, really kind of quite washed out and, and not worth bothering with. This is like, coffee photocopied seven times so that it's like somebody's taken a coffee or a pod and you know kind of like put it through the machine once and run the water through it once and then a second time and then a third time and then a seventh time and they've said here's your coffee so that you think maybe at some point it was actually growing so it, it, it you know it somehow had some connection with a coffee plant but that was a long time ago and the link is very very tenuous um Strange, a, a strange release, a strange release, because the Tom Fords tend not to be shy wallflowers. I mean, Metallique, Metallique was a quiet scent, the one that came out a few years ago, but it was interestingly quiet. That, that died a death, didn't it? Somebody said, is this one of the ones since the big sale of um, 
the Tom Ford brand? I, I don't know. I suppose it must be. And maybe this is why we're going to be seeing a few changes. So, yes, Angela fancies that cup of coffee. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with some of these releases, you, you sort of think, OK, did this make sense somewhere along the line to the to, to the to, to, did they think, no, 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 let's let's just do something really, really, really unremarkable. Let's just be really, really safe. Um, Otai says Oud Mineral will be re-released into the Signature Collection too. Hmm. So I guess that's going to be, oh, well, I suppose, well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how that goes. Okay, so this is, this is nothing more than vague and pleasant. And on that note, I will say... Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for watching. If you do like this scent, I mean, like, as in, if you genuinely like it so much that you would want to spend money on it and buy it, please let me know what it is about it that sort of resonates with you. What is it that connects with you? I get comments like this all the time, which is why I love the fact that videos that I did several years ago can be rediscovered by people because, you know, people will leave comments on videos that are three, four, five years old and they'll say, you know, you didn't like this one, but but I like such and such about it, and I always wear it when I want to achieve such and such an effect. Just the other day, I did the, the, the review of the new Shalimar Millicim Iris, and so many people have written to say, no, 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 you know, our favourite Millicim, our favourite Shalimar Flanker. That's fine. I mean, I guess that's why these, reading the comments is 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 interesting and useful. Um, this can be the final comment. Kim says, Acro Awake is a decent coffee scent. That is a very, very well done coffee note. Okay. I will say thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned to social media for details of new videos coming your way soon. Um, but until then, be good, take care, and yes, go and have a nice cup of coffee. Bye now. <laughs>